Hi, good evening to all. Tell me one thing: Am I audible and visible to everybody? I'm looking at the chats. Let me know: Am I audible to all? Am I audible and visible? I'm looking at the chats. We'll wait for thirty second more. To join other people, then we will continue. Let me know. Am I audible to all? I'm looking at the chats. Am I audible and visible to everybody? And how is the energy? You're ready to fight with the question? Because anyhow, in this journey, what you need is that. Uh, enough believe on the series and enough trust on yourself and the consistency that every day you have to take you know your laptop and pen and copy every day you have to try out the solutions and when this journey will end you will have massive success right let me know in chats am i audible to all am i audible and visible to everybody Good evening, Prince. It tell me one thing. Anybody? Am I audible and visible? Okay. Okay. So again, na today and this series, everybody already knows, right? So on which path we are going on? Right now, I guess I'm just completing the last question in math series. Then math will be completed. Now you have basic. Logic creation thing, right? If you have tried out every, you know, question that we have covered in the class itself, and you have dry run it on your copy, right? You understood the problem. So now you know how to create a basic logic. Now in the next live, we'll move with the arrays, okay, and then keep going on. So now here, what we question, what question I have today? I'll I'll go frequently to the lead code. I haven't opened yet. I'll search lead code. Okay, I'll search lead code. I'll go there, and here I will search for a a question, which is which is what? Which is ugly number? Yesterday we done with perfect number, right? Today we will do ugly number. Okay. Today we will do ugly number. Okay. Now we know that this problem already has been asked in Uber and Amazon, and repeatedly. And the few problems when I, that I will cover in the next live is super important because that has came in I guess all the Mang and Fang companies. Okay. So now read the problem statement carefully. We'll get to know what you need to do. An ugly number is a positive integer. Is any positive num number? Which does not have a prime factor. Which does not have a prime factor. Very important thing. This, okay, other than two, three, and five. So first, you need to understand what is the prime factor is. Prime factor, I guess, all of you has been calculated. The LCM. That time we were dividing by two, by three. This so we were dividing that all the numbers, right? And we were getting the prime factors. So now, now an ugly number is a positive integer which does not have any prime factor other than two, three, and five. Okay. So for example, six. So six is a combination of two and three, and both are prime factors of six. Okay. But that's why it's a true because it have a prime factor of two and three only. It can also have five, right? But not other than this, which means that n is equal to one will be false. Why? Why is that? Because because And can, one cannot have a you know prime factor of two, three, and five. Similarly, for fourteen, you'll get the fourteen, you'll get two and seven. But you know that seven is extra. You know that seven is extra, right? This shouldn't be there. So that will also be a false number. Clear to everyone? I guess so, right? So now, what can be the logic? What can be the logic? I'll, I'll go to the whiteboard. I'll show you how we can do this. You know, anyhow, if we want to check, and what do we want to check? We want to check like that if a particular number, 
particular number contains only two, five, or I guess three, as prime factor. Not other than this, prime factor. Good evening, Pravneet. H prime factor. H prime factor. Right? So in that case, that will be an ugly number, otherwise not. Otherwise not. So for example, if we take 6, so now if you will get the prime factor of 6, what you will get? Divide 6, you get 3, you will get 1. Now these are come in only 2, 3 and 5 range. Yes or no? But if I talk about let's say uh, 16, so what will happen in 16? You will get prime factor as 16, you will divide 2, you will get 8, you will divide 2, you will get a 4, again you will divide by 2, you will get 2, you will again. So prime factor is 2 only, right? So it will also true. Again, if I talk about, uh, uh, you know, uh, 35. So now, again, if you divide 35 by 5, you will get 7, again 7 will get 1. But it's not true. Why? Because we are getting 7 as prime factor. So that will, 35 is not an ugly number. So how you can solve this problem? How you can solve this problem? If I ask you, if a particular number have only prime factors as 2, 3 and 5. And if I ask you if you can keep divide that number by 2, by 3 and by 5. And at the end if number becomes 1, we can say there are only 2, 3, 5 as a prime factor. Okay, I'm taking another example. I'm taking another example. For example, I have, we have, let's say, you know 27 i want to check it's a it's a you know ugly number or not so what i will do is that i'll keep divided by 2 so 2 is not dividing this i'll keep dividing by 3 we'll get 9 we'll get again what 3 again 1 so at then if you keep dividing if you will keep dividing by 2 by 3 and by 5 if at the end if at the end you get you get number as 1 which means that number contains only the prime factor as 2, 3, 5, not other than this, not other than this. Okay, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm creating another number. Let's say I'm creating 2, 3, 6 and 30. So I'll create a 30. I'll check like 30 is a prime factor, uh, you know, a juggling number or not. So I'll divide by 2. What I will get? I will get as uh, here, uh, you know, 15. Again, I'll divide by 3. I will get 5. Again, I divide by 5. I'll get 1. So now what's happening? It's an ugly number. Why? Because you keep divided it, right? You try to divide by 30 or 2, you get 15. Then 2 cannot divide it further, right? Then 3 will divide, you get 5. Then 3 cannot divide it further. 5 will divide and you get 1. And at that, if you get 1, which means that number is an ugly number. You're getting the logic. Tell me, is it easy or not? You're getting the logic. You're getting the logic. And trust me, this question is an important question because whatever I'm covering in this series is super important. Okay, so now I hope the logic is clear to everybody. Like if you want to check, you have to keep divide that number by 2, by 3 and by 5. And at that, if number becomes 1, that number will be an ugly number. So that's a basic logic which we can define. And once we have logic, once we have logic, we can go to the code. We can try out our logic, right? We can go to the code. So now I'm moving to the coding part. I'm moving to the coding part. I'll write the code here. What I will do? I'll check like... First, what I will do is that again, you know, any negative number or one cannot have prime factors. Okay, cannot have prime factors. So we will handle here if n is less than or equals to one. So if we get two time any prime factorization, that is be true. Yeah, that will be true again. If we are getting two times two, that will be true again because that's you know prime factor cannot have other numbers than what two, three, and five. Means you cannot contain like 4, you cannot contain like a 7, you cannot contain like, a, you know, 11. So these are not possible. But if they are coming in the terms of 2 and 3 and 5, then it's true. Okay. So now here, if number is negative or 1, then directly we will say it's false. We will say false. Okay. Now, here again, every day I feel like, you know, people are not engaging. They feel like it's an offline class. Okay. And it's a Gaurav Bhaiya, you can interact anything. Either you say Gaurav sir, either you say Gaurav Bhaiya, both are fine for me. Okay, but keep interacting. Keep interacting. Maybe I can help you in landing a good job. So now I'll check here again. 
डू यू सपोर्ट इजराइल और पेलेस्टाइन वट यार आ समथिंग फ्रॉम कोडिंग आई नो आई एम गौरव भैया और गौरव सर वट आई फील लाइक बट डू नॉट बी डिप्लोमेटिक सो नाउ हियर नाउ हियर इफ एन इज अ मॉडल ऑफ टू if n is a modulus of 2 in that case what we will do is that what we will do is that we'll divide that number by what 2 we'll keep dividing if n is divided by 2 we will keep dividing that number yes or no so we will update n is equals to n by 2 and this will keep happen right now again again we'll check if that is divisible by 3 if that is divisible by 3 and modulus 3 in that case if it divisible by 3 then keep dividing by 3 Right, keep dividing by three. So now n is equals to n by three. And again, at the last, check with five. Check with five. If it's a divisible by five, if it's a divisible by five, then then what we can say? Tell me. We'll divide it again. We'll divide it by five again. Right. Right. Now at the end, now at the end, we can check like if this. If this n becomes what one, which means that's an ugly number. Otherwise, it's not an ugly number, right? Otherwise, it's not an ugly number. Make sense to all? Tell me. Does this make sense to all? Is it or not? And you know, imagine over both has been asked. But again, it's easy when you understand the logic. It's a tough when you don't understand the logic, right? Okay, cool. Now we'll run this. Now we will run this. Oh no, something is wrong. Okay, we'll see what is wrong. So in the case number second, we are getting false. One has no prime factor. Okay, actually we have written here one. So now this will be zero because all the negative number does not have any prime factor, and one does not have even you know or two even not three even not five not other than that also right that will be a true. So now here I'll I'll run this again. I'll run this again. It's an optimal one case, sir. It's an optimal one, okay? Because you know what will be the time complexity of it? What will be the time complexity of it? Hmm, taking one millisecond. The time complexity of it, you know. Again, if you will calculate the time complexity of it, you will get what you know. Here, the time complexity is. Every time we are dividing the input size by half, log n. Here the time complexity will be log 3n. Here the time complexity will be log 5n. And when you will, you know, not, not it's not constant. In constant we can't do it, right? So it's not constant. But but what is the time complexity? Time complexity will be log n. Why? Because it is sum of log 2n, sum of plus log 3n plus log 5n. And at the end when you will get the whole sum, you will get log n. Okay, it's a logarithmic. Why? Because you know the log n time complexity. When you get that, when every time the input size is you know reducing by half or any number. So here, I'll explain you here. So what happening is now on every step, every step the input size is reducing by half. So for the first while loop, for the first while loop, what's happening? Every time the input size is reducing by two. Yes or no? First while loop. So here the time complexity is log two base, and again in the second loop, second while, right? Yeah, correct. Like binary search, correct case. So now here the time complexity will be log three n because every time you are reducing by the one by third, right? And for the third while, what will happen? You will get the time complexity of log five n because you are you know dividing that. Number by five every time. So the total time complexity you add them, and anyhow what we do is that whenever the addition is comes, we get the maximum complexity, which is log n, log base two n, right? And generally we ignore this two, so we'll write this log n. It is optimized one. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this problem. Now we are wrapping with the math series. By tomorrow we'll start the array series. Okay, and we will see a lot of important questions. but my suggestion to everybody is that do not just copy the solution try to figure out the logic you know watch the video carefully then you know understand the problem statement and then try to make the solution by yourself right and use this solution as well 
and think how is this working try to put the different different values try to dry run it okay and then eventually you'll be able to write the solution by yourself as well okay and once any of you have you know a great success send me a thank you message over linkedin that will be fine for me that will be a lot for me right but anyhow i want that you people put a lot of hard work right you people you people prepare well and have success have massive success in life okay now today we'll wrap the live i guess we done with the question see you tomorrow bye bye to all bye bye and keep practicing keep practicing bye bye all